Hey everyone, it's Asha and welcome back to Reading with Asha. For today's video, I'm going to be reading all day today. It's rainy outside, it's gloomy. I want to finish this big book which is the second book to the Crescent City series. I'm only that far into it. I already read the first one. I know this is a reading vlog of the Crescent City series, but didn't film me reading the first one at all because it literally took me forever to read, and it's not because it was bad. It was actually really, really good. But while I was reading it, I had to take medication because I had really bad poison ivy, and it was just making me so out of it. I could not focus, and Sarah J. Mass books, you have to focus, especially because how long they are. So I was not able to finish it until like last week, and it was very, very, very good. I'll be doing a full review of both of the books at the end of this video. Once I finish reading this one, this is my puppy, Milo. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I want to finish the book today. Hopefully, I have so much left, like probably over 500 pages. But it's only like 2 o'clock and I'm not doing anything today except I'm going to cook dinner later. So that's literally all I have planned today. And I really want to get it done because I want to finish it. And I also want to start reading other books because I have a lot of books I want to read this month. So I kind of just want to get it out of the way. But also I really want to know like what's going to happen and stuff. Because I am very invested in the characters at this point. This video is going to be spoiler free. I'm pretty sure. But if there is any spoilers or anything like that, I will definitely put a warning and a time to skip to in case you haven't read it yet. Don't worry about that. But I will be doing a full review and everything like that at the end of the video, but we're going to get myself set up to kind of just chill and read. I just took a bath because it's a gloomy day, so why not take a bath? And I put on a comfy sweatshirt and my PJ shorts, and then I'm gonna go lay on the couch, get my blanket, set up like a Crescent City ambiance video on my TV, and I'm also gonna make myself a cup of tea and probably light a candle. That's what we're gonna do. So let's get started and hopefully finish this book today. I really, really want to. I feel like once you get like past halfway through, you're kind of just flying through the rest of it but it's getting really interesting kind of off the bat for this one the first one took me a really long time to get into it but once i got to a certain point i literally just read it all like at once let's do it hopefully we can get through it dryer noises in the back because I'm doing some laundry but little update I am about I'm on page 287 so I'm almost on page 300 and it's like 4 30 right now so I've been reading for two and a half hours this far through and I'm just gonna keep reading until probably for like a whole another hour and 30 minutes because I'm gonna cook dinner probably around six o'clock but I'm gonna eat some seaweed snacks it's getting pretty good lots of stuff is happening and I also like how this one offers a bunch of different point of views because there's a lot more characters that are very involved that were kind of just introduced in the first book whereas in this book they're like really really involved my boyfriend just texted me saying he's gonna get subway for dinner so I guess I don't have to cook dinner after all Oh, I've never 
never seen you act this way so i came booked a one way to la gave so up okay. actually the next day i did in fact not finish the book last night because how would i expect to finish that many pages in four hours and i also was getting really distracted while i was reading yesterday so that wasn't that good but it's getting like pretty juicy now that we're at this point where I just keep wanting to read it. Tomorrow I am going to definitely finish it. I'm going to try to finish a ton more tonight. At least finish like 100 more tonight and then definitely going to finish the book tomorrow. And I will let you guys know my review. I just wanted to update you because I completely forgot. Last night I ended up reading a little bit more in bed. And sometimes when I'm just like laying on my couch all day and reading, I get anxious. Like I have to like move, go out on the patio or do something else. I think Sarah J Mass just does such a good job of making you love these characters and really making you feel as if you're in the book with them and there's like a movie created in my head as i'm reading it that's what it feels like so i don't know i just i love her books and i love her writing and i will continue to always love it and read anything that she puts out i do want to read throne of glass but that is a big series and i don't want to commit to it right now even though the books are not as long i don't think I don't really want to commit to that right now, so I'm going to ask for it for Christmas. Plus the current vibe. My puppy is sleeping, and I'm just chilling, and I'm going to go ahead and read some more, so let's get into it. Then you said, don't you be afraid of when your life's going to end. Something crazy just happened. You guys, I'm shocked. I only have this much left, but I'm so tired. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep my eyes open to read the rest. But this is, okay, I have to keep reading right now, but we'll see. The next morning, and I ended up reading a lot more last night. I only have this much left. And I'm so nervous, but I'm gonna film my reaction for like the last few kind of pages i guess yeah i'm really nervous but i'm also excited i have peanut butter on a tortilla a delicacy it's really really juicy so let's get into it i knew it i knew it i knew it there's just i knew it okay let me explain something so i'm on chapter 75 something crazy happens in this chapter and you get revealed on who day is and this isn't spoiling anything i'm not going to say who it is obviously but i freaking knew it i put two and two together the night that rune was looking for day and they were up on the rooftop and all this stuff like i put two and two together Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god, I'm literally... I'm... Okay. I just need to chill out. What? No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't know, you guys. I am shocked. I did not expect this, but guys, I don't know what to do. Where, when is the next book coming out? See, it kind of leaves you on a little bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> and I can't say anything because it's going to spoil the book, but what's going to happen in her other books? Like, what's going to, I don't even know what to expect right now. I'm in shock. I need to gather myself and come back later because I'm in shock right now. It's time for the final review. 
up the Crescent City series. So we're gonna start with the first book, kind of go into depth of what I thought about it. Then we're gonna move to the second book and I'm gonna tell you my ratings. Now I kind of talked about it a little bit, but I did say that the first book was a bit harder for me to get into because of the predicament that I was in at the time I was reading it. But I did think it was still very interesting. I do think that a lot of things could have been left out and it could have been a little bit shorter, but I understand we have to get the full picture of everything to kind of understand the full story. I didn't like how it was crazy long. Now I'm not saying that I think it was a bad book because of that, but I still, I don't know. I just didn't love how it was like that. When it got past the halfway mark in the first book, I felt like I was reading it way quicker and actually able to like really be super interested in it. But before that, it took me like five days at least to the halfway mark, which is kind of crazy because usually I read pretty fast. And Sarah J Mass books, when you get to the end of them, especially this first one of the Crescent City series, I felt like sweating. I was so anxious. I just wanted to know what was gonna happen next. And I really, really liked the love story in this one and the romance bit of it. I just think it was so wonderful. So then it goes into the second book, which obviously I can't tell exactly what's happening because that would spoil the first one. I feel like for the second book, right when it started, crazy stuff started happening. Like it hit off really quickly. You're already wanting to turn the pages. I really, really enjoyed that and wanted to keep reading and stuff for the second one. When it got more near the middle, it was harder for me to want to read. But at this point, I was so invested in the characters that I just wanted to continue turning the page and finding out more about them. And just, I didn't want to leave them. Many of the characters who were introduced in the first book are way more developed in the second book, which is really cool because you're actually learning more about them and everyone's coming together and I really really enjoyed that aspect of it the best part of the book is gonna have to be the ending because it was insane as you saw my reaction that was my real raw reaction and it was crazy I love the ending of this book and I can't wait for the next book my final ratings for both of these books for the Crescent City number one book House of Earth and Blood is gonna have to be a four star and then Crescent City number two which is House of Sky and Breath that is a five star read for me and I'll give it even a six star because I loved it okay it's up there with A Court of Silver Flames and A Court of Mist and Fury for me so I absolutely love this series I highly recommend it if you've been thinking about reading it or if you loved Akatar or Throne of Glass, I haven't read Throne of Glass, I do plan on it eventually, but I think you would absolutely love this series. I will say though, if you don't like spicy books, this is not gonna be the book for you because the second one especially, first one's not that bad, but the second one is, the spice level is even higher than the Akatar series which is crazy because that's pretty high there, but this one it's through the roof. So if you don't like that, you might just want to skip past those parts or something, but I don't know. I think she did a good job writing it. <laughs> so that is my Crescent City reading vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you read Crescent City before, comment down below and let me know because I would be interested to hear your thoughts on it. If you have not read it yet, highly recommend it. If you want to get into fantasy, I would recommend Akatar first, or a lot of people like Throne of Glass because it's YA, so it's definitely a little bit easier to understand. That's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video and make sure you subscribe because at 3,000 subscribers I'm doing a giveaway I'm gonna post this stuff soon for what is gonna be in the giveaway box so make sure you guys subscribe I love you so much and I will see you soon bye